Hello, my name is Philomena Ashigi, a student of TTU. I am a member of the Coding Ladies Club. I am their treasure. Today, we are coming to present to you our, so far, the journey that we have. We started the training in February till March, which we've done HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And we are here today to present to you our project of the club. I'm Gloria and Santinewa, and I'm a level 100 student and IT student, and I'm also a member of Coding Ladies TTU chapter. I had Coding Ladies. Um, I heard that coding ladies are in to help the ladies who are ready to, to be a web developers or who want to gain more skills in software developers. And I'm also, I'm, I'm also that type, I'm interested in software, like I'm interested in coding, let me put it in that way. So the moment I heard that then, I, I, I made up my mind to join the club so that I will, I will, I will you know, um, I'll like <laughs> through the club, I've been able to know much about how to use the HTML language and how to use the CSS. So this presentation that we are coming to do, I've been able to to create, I've been able to create a website for the, like for a hotel. So I think the, 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 the club has helped me a lot. Now I'm a little bit like, I'm okay. At first I didn't know anything about the HTML, HTML and then the CSS, but now I think I'm a little bit perfect at that place. To the club. Oh, I go by the name Graphin. I got to know this coding ladies club through a program through during the G um a certain program. Uh-huh. GDS, yes. It was through that clubs that I got to know Coding Ladies Club. Um the journey so far has been very great. It has been so it has enlightened me on many things you know first i didn't have the interest in development but ever since i joined the coding's ladies club it has at least given me a broad knowledge on how to go about my software as in to as in throughout my software career it has really helped me so far so the coding ladies club started this journey in february Page has been very interesting and then interacting so far. We go through a lot of training than the, uh, the theory part. We do a lot of practicals. So far, so good. It has been a very successful journey. We are all ladies in the group. Our motto is to learn to build and then to connect. So far, some of us have challenges. We are to have more than enough, but it's like some are complaining they don't have laptops, they, they, so they can't join the club, which we intend on using mobile phones. We'll be coding on mobile phones, God willing, next semester, so that we can have more ladies on board. You know, people think that Tech is all about men, but we want to change that perspective. And then some ladies also think that it's hard. I want to encourage us out there that it's not that hard. With consistency, when you perceive you want to do something and then you strive hard, you can do it. Since the men are doing it, I think we can also do it as ladies. So today our presentation is going to be on that three part where we are creating a website using the html to create the texts and then we will start 
the page with the CSS and then create some commands with the JavaScript. We will we'll be awarded today with a certificate um, from the Coding Ladies Club. And then we expect something better. So this is our first time. We hope to do uh, like our best. Because I know we put in our best Though the journey has been that short, it's just five weeks. But I hope we've catch up so far. I am the treasure for the Coding Ladies Club. Yeah, here with money. And then we were having some challenges along the way. Some are having lectures, which was crashing with the time that we are supposed to meet. And some too are having texts here and there. Some have issues with their laptops and all that. That's why we are planning on bringing the form in next semester so that everybody can have access to the coding. So you not just be limited to only using the laptop, but you can also use your phone to code. Well, my ladies out there, I just want to tell you that if I can do it, you can also do it. You shouldn't limit tech to only guys. We ladies too can do it with consistency. We can also take over tech as ladies. That's why Coding Ladies Club is here. We are here to learn, to build, and to connect. I was introduced by a friend. A friend told me, if I'm interested in Coding Ladies, how to code, I can join her. So I came here for the first time. I realized what they are teaching was okay for me. So I started asking for the days and the time that they meet, they told me everything. So I came here, I saw our lecture, everybody teaching, but I love the way he teaches. He gets time for each and everyone. Even if you don't understand, he gets time for you to go for it, in whatever they are doing. Though when I came, they started something, but he taught me how to code and stuff. So the JavaScript, ATM, and uh, Yes, it's my friend is just teaching how to do it. I'm expecting more from them. I'm expecting them to appreciate at least those who are going to present. I'm expecting them to do something for those here to know that we are not joking here. We are learning something later. And I'm expecting something they to do. I'm patient, suffering IT, and I'm in level 200. I'm presenting on your blog site. Yes. And I started the journey not so long ago. Yes. And it was cool. Yeah. The features starts homepage about and the contest. Yes. So it took me three weeks to build my website. Yes, and I use uh, languages like HTML and CSS. Yes. My name is Claude Aubrey Madu, the founder and CEO of Coding Ladies Academy. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah. you are all welcome to the Coding Ladies Club. We thank you for honoring our invite to our presentation. We started this journey in February. So far, we've done four weeks and we are here to present to you what we have learned so far. We've done HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We have some executives here, which I would like them to come and then introduce themselves to us. So let's welcome our executives. Hey, I'm Patient Sabah the events and educational coordinator. Okay, I'm Gloria Ansantinewa, the tech leader of Coding Ladies, TTU chapter. Yeah, I'm Ivan Sewafia, the secretary for Coding Ladies Club, TTU. I am Philomena Aku Ashibe, I am the treasurer for the Coding Ladies Club. I'm Dorafe, I'm the executive for Coding Ladies Club. We have another coding club here to witness our presentation. The She Ladies Code. She Code Africa, yeah. 
So we will call on our sister to introduce herself to us. Uh, the chapter lead for She Code Africa TTU chapter. We are new. So we are also hoping to organize stuff like this so that we can invite coding ladies to also come and witness. And thank you for inviting me here. So I can't wait to see the beautiful website that you've done. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Please do the clap more. Clap for her. Thank you, Madam Tracy, for honoring our invite. Uh, we'll be starting the presentation and we'll call on our sister Gloria to show us the beautiful website she has created with the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript. With one of our plots, let's welcome our sister. My name is Claude Obi Amadou, a full stack developer and the founder and CEO of Coding Ladies Academy. I'm Gloria Santinewa and I'm here to present the website I created for a hotel management, which is Sweet Garden Hotel. And this is the final, this is the final result. This is the photos. Please, can you send me to the rooms? And these are the rooms that talks about um, the type of room that you prefer and the amenities. Please send me to that place. And these are the amenities. Amenities, another, another word for amenities is the about, like, everything about the hotel everything that goes on in the hotel this is where you will find it can you send me back to the uh, what do you call it the photos okay so with this place everything that you see is here they are in the hotel you 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 find the bedroom then like everything that goes on in the hotel like let me put it in the way let me put it in that way you find the dining hall and i think if you go down please can you go down for me yeah hey one of it didn't stop dining hall and I think I added the pool, please. My, 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 my swimming pool didn't come. I added swimming pool to it. So, this, 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 these are some of the, the things that you see in the hotel. So, you, you see, we, we give, we offer free breakfast. And then, that, that's the thing you see, they enjoy free breakfast at three stars. Come on, see the so this is the home page, and then you know, should I go to the VS code? Isn't it dead? So please send me to the VS code so that I'll show you how I present it. This is the HTML, and here it occupies the photos, and then. The images I provided in the HTML part, I mean the home page where the photos were, this is where I, I provided them. And those are the ones that they, like I've learned up the images and then. So please come down and let me see. And that, I mean, you saw, you saw the enjoy free breakfast. Yeah, that's what, that is how I did it. Yeah, hmm. that's fun. That's where I play. Please, let's go to the CSS. CSS for the HTML. I mean, new, so I couldn't, I couldn't do them. So this is the place. The CSS talks about how you style the, 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 the it, like everything in the, everything in the index. It's been, please, it's, it's supposed to be the index HTML. 
uh, index CSS writer. Yeah. Everything in the index HTML. Whenever you want to, you want to style it. You're supposed to come to the index CSS to style them. The CSS talks about if you want to, if you want to add a color or if you want to add the like style the pictures. Yeah, you're supposed to use the CSS because without the CSS, you can add the color to it. I think you saw the background of my, 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 my. Please let's go to the web browser. Yeah, can you see the background? And uh, it's it's it's. Uh -huh. Please can you see the background? Yes. So if you want to, if you want to add the background to the thing, you can do the background in the HTML. It's not advisable. Even it won't show. So unless you go to the CSS. The CSS, the CSS talks about that styling. If you want to style your work, if you want to add images, if you want to like any anything that will make the thing look attractive, all will be done at the CSS part. And the test, the test will all the tests in your way in your code to supposed to be done at the HTML. Yeah. So please let's go to the um, room. Yeah. Hope you saw you saw you saw my final result. Hope you saw the rooms, including the prizes and then those things here. This is the ATM. That's the bed. I hope you can see the bed. The paragraph part. Two queen bed here. Yeah. So that's how I create that, that's how I I, I I don't know how to create it. That's how I, I, I coded it. So that, that is the images. Image. Whenever you see the image, image as a mini, you, you, you put in an image. Oh, all right, all right. So that is it. Please, let's go to the CSS. Yes, yeah. this is the CSS for the room. I added a, C, I added a color and then um, a background, yeah, I added the background color and then the box shadow so that it will make it looks attractive. Yeah. So that is it. Whenever you see the HTML, HTML contains the test and whenever you see the CSS, the CSS contains the stylish and then the color of the, the, the work. So that is it. Coding Ladies Academy is a non-profit organization aimed at empowering female tech students in Ghana to be able to contribute to the tech space. Yeah, when you were talking about the index.htm and then the index.css, you were saying that um, the CSS is the cascading style sheet. And if you want to make your index.htm very nice, you need to style it. Yeah, so you created an external file called index.css and then you started your styling. But how will it, or what will you do for the CSS to take effect on the HTML? Very good, that's good. Mm. It won't show, okay, and then, okay. So I wanted to draw your attention on that one, it's very important. And then the last question is the external CSS and then the inline CSS, that is the style that you put it inside the head. Which one takes more effect? Please do you get my question? The external CSS where you link it and then the inline CSS, that one, the style that you put it inside the head, which one will take more effect, effective than the other? The one that you put inside the or the inline CSS and then the external CSS, which one takes more effect? Folder structure. I see a mixture of the HTML, CSS, and the images. How well could you have done this? Like everything is just mixed up on the Explorer. So how well could you have done this? I mean, I see the CSS, the HTML, the pictures all being like they are just the existing how well could you have done this a file 
uh, okay so if we were to create a folder how many folders are we going to get anyways that's fine so far as that you know that you would have created a folder is great so yeah that's all okay can you um go to where you were trying to show us the picture of the um swimming pool yeah <laughs> yeah no i i not to see the 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 pool itself i want to see the code i yeah okay yeah all right so my question is um say someone visits your website okay and the person is not there you can't tell the person that um this is a swimming pool because you can't see it right and you have the alt text and then you've left it all just like that right so it's recommended that if the image cannot be loaded right you write a description for the alt so that if it's not loaded the person can read what is supposed to be there right so that's my temperatures i'm adding to your thing <laughs> any questions any more who we'll asked you so you need to answer <laughs> To be able to contribute to the tech ecosystem in Ghana. My name is Philomena again. I am creating a website for a massaging and a beauty spa. So this is my website. The name of the, the page is Goodness Home of Beauty and Spa. So the texts were created using the HTML and then the styles were the styles were created using the CSS. So this is the home page. Then we go to about. So the reason why the when you click on the page, you can click on about and then the service. That is the nav bar. The body of the HTML, we have a nav bar, we have the main and then we have the footer. So where you can see the image and then the subscribe section and then when you scroll down, you are going to see this scroll down. So where the copyright section is, that is the footer. So when you click on the image, it's going to transform so that effect was used using the css and then we go to the service okay so when you hover over the image here there is a text so this was also created using the css please scroll down for me down so click on the same yeah so when you click on the send it's a message pops out which is please send as a message this was created using the javascript so you have to fill in that space before you can send a message so that portion too was created using the javascript so please can you show me my code this is my index which is the home page that you saw I linked all the three pages that is in the nav bar where I showed you that this is the nav bar. You link uh, the three pages so that when you click on this, you can go to the other part. And then the style sheet tool was linked to both uh, all the three pages so that you can style them. You can't style this and then go and style the next page and then the other. So you link the pages all together. And then the JavaScript site too, we have a subscribe button which was at the home page, the about, and then the service section. That one too, you have to link the JavaScript to the all that three pages because you want that effect to be created on all that pages. So this is my project about the home, beauty home and spa, yeah. So thank you. The reason I started Coding Ladies Academy here in Takadi is because the female, the female in the tech industry are uh, least represented. 
there are little or few females in the tech industry, especially in the development of project sector. So I'm not going to criticize your work or something. It's good. <laughs> um, but what I what I have to say is that you see, someone has to activate the event, right? Click on the button before you use the JavaScript to display that message to them. Sometimes it's best to actually go the normal way in the beginning, unless let's say it's more advanced before you you try to do stuff like that, right? So I hope you know about the required attributes, right? Yeah. So in case some things have to be done, you can first pass the required, which ones uh, need JavaScript to tell the person what to do. And then maybe after you can use that to validate it along the line. Yeah, that's my 50 pesos for that. Mine is not a question, but um, good job. I think um, what you need to work on is the colors. I saw a whole lot of colors going on in there and it was too much. And uh, please go to the um, JS file, the script.js. Va Manula, what is that? <laughs> Manula. But then do you think that is the best? So what could you have done? An idea of display. No. Any what I mean is um so va manula. Someone like me, I'm like va manula, what is manula? It's the variable, it's right. What is Manula? Like the variable name should go in line with whatever you are doing. If you tell me about Manula, who is Manula? Like it doesn't quite hit me like that. Yeah. So that's basically it. Aside from that, good job. So I would like to talk about is um, I didn't see documentation of your code. Yeah. It is very important. Let's say you have program the software and then you are even leaving a company another person will come and take care of it and you need to document the code even someone who, who is not a programmer when he sees the documentation you know that okay this is what you are actually referring to that is very nice so try to document your code uh, so i started coding ladies as a means to train females with my skills that i've earned over the past 11 years to be able to build reliable and feasible projects that can be used in Ghana. So I'm expecting them to show what they've done, be able to explain their projects to the audience and take us through their uh, journey through the cloud. Please, my, my project is about a blog site. Yes, I, I created a blog site that, is, that you can access entertainment news and news, political news and what's changing. And I, I used only HTML and CSS. So the Coding Ladies Club teacher chapter, we trained on basic web development where they learned HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So today they are here to present on, a few of them are here to present the projects that they have done. It will take you here. And this, the introduction, like the welcoming address, and what you find in the website, like the entertainment news and the sports news. And when you scroll down, you see the, what's trending. And the last one is the political news. I wasn't here during the CSS, so <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't add CSS. Yes. I was only here during the HTML. Yes, I could have learned, but I was sick. <laughs> yes. So, that's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, this, this is actually a blog, blogging website. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> oh, Okay.
Okay, so let's say uh, you have developed a blogging website and then maybe you need subscribers or you need viewers to go and visit your website. Uh -huh. um, do you think, um, let's say, with, with, with your styling and then, <laughs> do you think with, with this arrangement and um, people would like to um, uh -huh. show? It's very nice to come with this. It is very nice. I say are you cool, but next time you try your best and style your page very small. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you at times people doesn't want to read, they just want to come and see your style and or how the page look like and then go back and recommend you to other people. Yeah. So you try and style it small. <laughs> Currently, we have uh, four chapters, but two are uh, two are active: the Coding Ladies Studio chapter and Coding Ladies Sakra. The other two are Coding Ladies Sakra and Coding Ladies Club Ghana. Uh, to all the ladies watching, I would like to tell you that no matter where you find yourself, whether Whatever course you are doing or area you find yourself, it's never too late to learn tech skills. This, the, the world that we are entering now is a technological world and we really not want our females to be left behind. So I encourage you all to at least, if you can join the Coding Ladies Club chapter in your area so that we can further train you in the skills that will be beneficial to you. You don't have to pay anything. There is no cost, no fee, no hidden charges. The trainees are all free. So there were a few challenges with the ladies who were training with us because this is the, some of them this is the first time that they are doing such things. But I would say that they've progressed. Uh, they've progressed and they've been able to do something that I'm impressed. Thanks for your time. <laughs> So this is our presentation, like you should say something about what we've done so far. The presentation, what you think about what we've presented so far. Once again, uh, my name is Aristotle, yeah, spiritual cyber spirit. So actually what I would say uh, about this presentation is that um, you people have done very, very well, especially um, I know, I know this lady Gloria. I know him. I know her, and I, I, I didn't believe that she, she can even start and then do something small. And then my lady too has done every, uh, everything very nicely. Everything is very nice. Uh, and then I'm also thanking your facilitator, Mr. Claude. Even I learned from Mr. Claude a lot. He said that when I learn from him, I don't want to do. <laughs> I don't want to start it. Uh -huh. I have a special time to start that, but I learned from him a lot. He has been teaching me, let's say, routing in PHP and other things. Uh -huh. At times I use some functions, you tell me, yeah, this one HM, so use another one. Uh -huh. So this one is a great opportunity for all of you starting programming. What I will say is, you see, I'm a facilitator for East Skills for Girls, and then I have visited many companies, banking company and then telecommunication companies. What happens there is, especially a lady with a skill, you go for them than us. You will do, do you know something? The guys will do everything. One lady will come and then the lady is just doing some small, small things because she's a lady. They will take her and then they will show all the guys. They will tell us to go home because we are what? We are males. So being a lady or a female programmer comes with a great opportunity yeah because when we let's say uh, i have a one girl in electrical department she climbs light pole she's also in to see programming yeah she climbs light pole yesterday i even posted her and i told her to leave to canada but because of um, the skills that she has she went to do her attachment at navy yeah navy and then they were even asking her to stop the school and then come and join them with the SHS certificate because of the skills. You see, many men are having the 
skills. They are having great skills, but the opportunity is not there for them. It's for the ladies. I can remember when the uh, this thing, when the German corporation came here uh, on TTU campus in conjunction with TTU and then they secured this, the place here. Please, are you getting my friend? So take this opportunity and learn it. And I assure you that being a female IT personnel who knows the skill where it will take you, you will be very happy and then you can even travel with the programming skill. So thank you very much and I'm saying that you have done very very well. Don't be discouraged. I don't go and look at anyone's code and say hey, this person is going higher than me. And stop and then persevere and then try to do more, do research. Uh, I do research in YouTube and then um, get up. At times, too, I go to the great schools. When I'm soft, I go to AI. I will not advise you to use AI right now. Try to understand whatever that you are doing. And when you understand everything, and then you try to seek other help from other tech parties. Hey, my, name, my name is Bill, and I am. The team lead for logic kids um we teach kids programming only kids adults are complicated and i started with tracy back then when i was a student at dtu so for what i would say is um i think you already know it's not easy right programming is not easy and don't think it's easy because if it's easy everybody would have been doing it right so it's good if you've, you've picked this challenge to to do whether your colors are not nice or you didn't put the alt text or you're asking what Manila means. <laughs> it's a part of it, right? Uh, you have to start somewhere, right? Don't think um, your first thing is going to be perfect, right? You do the nonsense first, and then you build on it. Uh, a time will come, you take a code that you, you wrote some years back, and you'll be wondering who actually wrote this yeah. stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, and for some reasons, if maybe you're finding any challenges, it would be best if you comment some of your quotes right so you know what each and every part of it is doing and it's good you've taken this one i've realized is most girls they start and along the line they leave it right i don't know if you have hdhd or something but most of you they normally stop along the line right but for me i recommend that you keep on you try as much as possible the more you do the easier it becomes right so if you've done this in four weeks i think it's it's good and then maybe in the next four weeks, if something like this comes up, maybe we're doing something better than what you've done. So that's my 100 cities I'll add to this. <laughs> you know my name, right? Yeah, so um, good job, everyone. And um, we all started like that. I also started like this. And eventually got better. So um, and with me, I'm more passionate about um, having more women in tech and not just coding but cyber security and all the other um, areas in technology and um, if you've taken it upon yourself to do software development trust me you are going to do well it will get overwhelming at a point you feel like giving up me sometimes i'll sit down and be like ah why didn't i go and do this why didn't i go and do this? sometimes i'll be like oh i have to be your guest wife because sometimes it gets extremely overwhelming but then it eventually gets better we have um, a whole lot of people who are doing well in the field and if you're also encountering a problem you can just reach out to them and then they will help you don't ever feel like giving up you will feel like giving up but <laughs> don't try to give up okay and um, it is actually going to pay off i mean the recognition that you get as a female in tech alone charlie you don't want to miss that recognition <laughs> Yeah, and then there are a lot of opportunities as well. So, good work, and then Claude, good initiative. <laughs> so, please, if you are not part of She Code Africa, to I'm soliciting for more members. <laughs> to come. No, we are not still. No, you can be part of both. I mean, we are also new, but we are looking at organizing trainings. We had our first event, which was the International Women's Day Summit last week, and Claude was there, and it was good, even though we were expecting more females and all that. But we are hoping that our subsequent events and trainings will be successful. Thank you all for having me once again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Abigail Agri. Um, um, an IT student and the studying precisely uh, software 
programming. And software programming, it's been a, a journey, yes, it's been a tough journey. It's not something that's simple and it comes with determination and, and a lot of practice. And so I wouldn't say it's, it's an easy, though I'm still like building myself and hoping to get, to, uh, hoping to be perfect someday. There are times you oh, there are some difficult times where <clears throat> um, building the or coding might seem very uh, challenging, but through it all, we actually trying to conquer and push through. So, but in all, I feel like uh, coding is it's an exciting something. It's, it's a challenge. It pushes you to actually want to um, face any difficulties. So I feel like challenge is very exciting. And for a lady who is into software programming, it's much more fun. Especially when you know your whereabouts and if you can play with your whereabouts. And so I feel like every lady should also get involved with it. Um, my name is Mamiya Mafoli and I am the lead for Coding Lady Institute chapter. So how has the journey been so far for you? Uh, the journey has been good. Um, for weeks of training, it wasn't easy, but by the grace of God, we were able to learn and now today is here and we are so excited. It has been good. The challenge uh, the challenge I had as a leader was getting them on board, bringing them together in the beginning was quite difficult, but later on they came in their numbers and we made it happen. Put on some, uh, put up some coding thing all together and I had a little bit challenge and then I saw him and I came to him and he asked me, I was like, you're actually good in some parts, but I think you should, you need to improve more, so why don't you join the and then I felt like, okay, fine, since it's all ladies, I think I should join so I can meet other ladies and all put our heads together in. And that's very fun. It's a one of applause to everybody. <laughs> the coding ladies wish to present this certificate to us for a successful work done. So, this certificate goes to Gloria Ansa, and I would like to call our sister Tracy to present the certificate to her. Gloria, you have another card. Deal. Deal. This is to Vivian. So, it's a one of our Finally, the program has come to an end. And I'll use this opportunity to give thanks to the Almighty God. And then another big thanks to our teacher, Sir Claude, for helping us 